and welcome to my channel. Well, this is the third video made today. So I've now taken off my neck warmer and I've taken off my waistcoat because I've warmed up, as, you, as one does. So what have I got for you? Well, it's the remaining bag that I've finished today and it's the two hot water bottle covers. Should we do the covers first? Get me out of the way. So there's me, you know, I suffer with the cold. So I had a hot water bottle and I thought, well, it wants a nice cover. I'll make it one. So this was my first invention. It's only a long piece sewn up. When it was on the bottle, I did actually sew across these tops so that it sort of matched in just where the bit comes out. But I found because I'd knitted it, or crocheted it rather, in such really thick wool. Um, that's, that's not even that one, I don't think. There it is. It's that one, I think. Yeah, that's the one. So this is a knit and pearl baby yarn, 100 gram, lemon yellow, um, chunky. <laughs> We'll get there in the end. It was 100 grams and it says use an eight um, knitting needle. So that was what I made this one out of with crochet in it. And it wouldn't actually let the heat out from the bottle. It just kept it. I know it lasted longer, clearly, but you, you weren't getting the heat off it that I wanted. Plan B had to come into action. So I thought, okay, I'll do another one, but I'll do it in double knit. So I did this one. Yes, this has the bottle in it. Again, it, it's just a up and down. But then, see if it's <laughs> strange, eh? Then I, when I'd sewn the main bit together. Then I was picking up and I kept going round and I was decreasing, you know, round to get it in and then I increased to get that back out. Now that's good. That lets my heat out. It's comfortable. It lasts, really lasts me all sort of night in the bed and it's got its own little <laughs> neck warmer on it. <laughs> Should I? For filling it up so you don't get all the wool wet. So that is the one I use now. Not the very thick one because that was too thick. On to the last bag. Have I kept you in suspenders? One can only hope. Okay, let's have a look. So this one is like that. I found out how to do some puff flowers and there they were I think it was 12 7 12 I don't know <laughs> you do a magic circle you do some double DC posts stitches then you join it and then you change your wool and you get a fluffy really fluffy wool and you do puff stitches you can do as many or as little as you like around it. These were puffs of like three, one, two, three, and then pull it together. So I made it a couple of those. It's done in this one, double knit. It's done in a, a lighter mixed double knit. And it's done in a very fluffy. <laughs> I had to knit that bit. I crocheted these bits, but that's a knit bit. And what it is, you get four oblongs. That's all, four oblongs. And then it's the way you put them together and then you sew the bottom and then you... Let me get some paper, do a little bit of a how-to. So, we got one, two, three, Four. They should all be the same size. So you want 
four pieces of knitted up or crocheted up rectangles. And then what happens is you take one and he goes on there. So you're going to sew that one on there. I'm trying to think now. <laughs> Come on, Denny. You know you can do this. Then you've got one down there. That's it. That, that, that's, that's that one. So we go one, two, three, and that one. Four. <laughs> I've got there in the end. You're going to sew your bottom bits first, which is the four shorter bits. Then you actually pull these over and you'll sew the longer bits. So you sew four long bits. Clearly, you'll have some longer than the other. But then that's what happens and it gives you the nice shaped top. You see? I don't know if we can see the bottom here. So I had two of the same. And then I had two different ones. And then when they come up, they come up into the V's because they're different lengths. Once I'd done that, I went around the top just to like secure in the, the whole thing at the top. Just do a row round. You didn't, I think I did, yeah, there's about three there actually. Three um, half double crocheted rows to go round. Then what did I do? Then I made the straps again with the thick white wool that I showed you the other day and you just do a chain stitch and I once I got the insides I sewed the handle inside of there that's got a just an over stitch on it putting that in he does have his two pockets like the bag on the last video two inside pockets it's the same inner if you look there's <laughs> you've got your knitted bit and you've got your inner which again means it will only stretch as far as your inner goes and then it depends on how heavy you're putting things in here as to whether these handles are going to stretch or not but that was a different one nothing like what i've done in the last video i was showing you all my previous bags that I've made and th these last two videos <laughs> are completely different bags and I've got a third on the go the third one on the go is a it's, it looks so easy it's just one big granny square just one then you line it and put some lining in then you fold it in half and you crochet Round the edges on like the front and back you decrease so that it brings it in a bit because you're going to be putting handles plastic handles on that one all become clear once I get it done I'm doing that one out of scraps rather than just set colors which I quite like it's nice but that one's going to be done in scraps. And so I shall bring you a simple, <laughs> simple. I'm going to put beads on it, as you do. Um, let's see what else I can get up to. And obviously line it. And I'd like pockets in it. I always like pockets. Do you like pockets? I like pockets. So there you go. Another bag. What will I do with it? I have no idea. No idea. Use it. Hopefully, <laughs> even if it's only a project bag, I've always got projects on the go. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this set of last three videos, which have been wool orientated. Definitely. We've seen the unboxing, we've seen the other bags, and now we've seen the last bag and water bottle covers. I'll make anything. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed the videos and I hope you enjoy your own knitting and crocheting. Just make it up as you go along. Well, I usually do. <laughs> so I should say, do give us a thumbs up. 
do subscribe. I'm getting it right today. Something could go wrong. Stay safe, take care, and it's bye-bye for now.